Blackstone Publishing presents Will and Testament, a novel by Vigdis Horta, translated by Charlotte Boslund. This book is read by Nano Nagel. You should do something you have to do as something you intended to do all along, or, if you have to do something, do it as if you meant it. Slavo Žižek Dad died five months ago, which was either great timing or terrible, depending on your point of view. Personally, I don't think he would have minded going unexpectedly. I was even tempted when I first heard to think that he might have fallen on purpose, before I knew the full story. It was too much like a plot twist in a novel for it to be just an accident. In the weeks leading up to his death, my siblings had become embroiled in a heated argument about how to share the family estate, the holiday cabins on Vala, and just two days before Dad's fall, I had joined in, siding with my older brother against my two younger sisters. I learned about the row in a roundabout way. One Saturday morning, which I had been looking forward to, when all I had to do was prepare a contribution to a contemporary drama seminar in Frederickstar that same day, my sister Astrid called. It was a bright and beautiful late November morning. The sun was shining. I might have mistaken it for spring if it wasn't for the leafless trees reaching for the sky and the leaves covering the ground. I was in a good mood. I had made coffee and I was excited about going to Frederickstar pottering around the old city centre when the seminar was over, walking on the ramparts with my dog and gazing at the river. After my shower, I saw that Astrid had called several times. I assumed it was about a collection of articles that I had been helping her edit. She answered her mobile in a hushed voice. Hang on, she said. I could hear beeping in the background as if she were in a room with electrical equipment. Hang on, she said again, still whispering. I waited. I'm at Diakon Yeme Hospital, she said. Her voice louder now. The beeping had gone. It's Mum, she said. But it's all right. She'll be fine. An overdose, she then said. Mum took an overdose last night, but she'll be fine. She's just very tired. It wasn't Mum's first attempt, but in the past... Sample complete. Ready to continue?